It's your girl, Special Nicole, and I am back with another video. Today, I am going to be trying a new hairstyle. I'm going to insert a video clip of it now so you can see what I'm going to attempt to do today. So, the style for today is going to be a lock knot bob, but I'm going to be adding in a few pieces of hair so that my locks all lay the same length. I've never done this before, so it's going to be trial and error, but Fingers crossed that we get it right on the first try. So I'm gonna start the look by, first off, I didn't even introduce myself. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Here on my channel, I give y'all videos all about my micro locks, my life, and makeup beauty related topics. So if those are things that interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now, and welcome to the team. For my hair, I am going to only use the extension hair, I think, in the front and in the middle because my hair here is not as long as down here. Um, so I can make it where it's, I don't want it to be a layered bob. I want it to be just even all the way around and kind of asymmetrical on the side. So you're gonna see. So for the back, I'm gonna just twist it without its extensions and then do or attempt the lock knot. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First, I'm gonna section off my hair so I can focus on the back first. Okay, so for the back, I'm gonna grab a small section, probably like four or five. I'm gonna keep it at that size and I'm just going to twist. And then once I'm down to the bottom, I am going to flip it like this and then wrap it around to create my knot. And this is about the length that I want the back to be. So now I'm gonna take a rubber band to secure that knot. And we have a lock knot. So I'm gonna do one more. My struggle is that my locks are just all different lengths. So trying to get them together and like how I have these loose ones coming out, it's cause they're not the same length. So, all right. I'm going to keep making my way across this back row or back section. Okay, so I'm done with that bottom row. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the back where I'm not adding extensions um, since y'all can see how it's done with just your regular hair. And then when I get ready to add in some of the hair that I'll be using, I will come back. Okay, y'all, so in back, as you can see, I have done a lot. What is this one? Majority of my head. And I just have this front section so um just recapping majority of the back is my own hair until I got up until this upper middle section I started to add in um some extension pieces uh the struggle that I have been having with that is just the pieces are if I cut them in half they aren't long enough and then if I keep them this long then I'll just have stringy ends because my hair is thicker than this because I'm just adding like one or two to it because I don't want the twist to be too big but I've been having to like cut off the straggly ends so that my knot won't be so small so that's what the struggle I've been having but yeah so I'm gonna show y'all how I've been adding in this hair to create the bob you can see I have my part so I want it to be asymmetrical so 
we have this length here so i want this side to come a little bit longer not too dramatic i kind of started to make the angle right here as you can see so i'm gonna try to keep that trend going down i don't know what this little pimple is on the tip of my nose but whatever um so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this side so again, I'm going to take one piece of the extension hair. The hair I got from Amazon, um, I will link it um, in the description box. It's the hair that I use for my wedding look. And I've just saved it to be able to use it for any other kind of style that I want. Um, I haven't really played with it much. So this is like my first time actually like using it. So I don't know if you've ever done... Uh, like Havana twists, uh, Senegalese, or whatnot, before all your natural hair. Um, I'm gonna add this in how I would do if I was doing a Senegalese or Havana, what's the other Marley twist? And I'm gonna twist it in at the root. So I'm gonna bring y'all in. And what I'm gonna do is just place it across the top, and I split my hair in half to go with either side of the twist. I'm going to twist one way, and then I'm going to twist the other side, and then once I have it added in, I'm going to cross it over and continue to twist down. And as you're doing it, it will feel tight um, while you're twisting, but once you release, it loosens up. I'm trying to see how far I want to go down. So this, I think I'm going to cut the rest of this off. And then, let's see, figure out where I want my knot to be for my length. I think that's good. Not too drastic of a drop. And there we go. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. It's really like an issue too of trying to get the knot right at the bottom because I have such straight ends from cutting it. So it's definitely trial and error if you attempt to. Somebody dogs outside cutting up. Definitely trial and error if you do attempt to do this style um, because it is something that is made for people who have longer locks so but we're gonna keep trucking we almost done okay y'all my camera battery died i didn't want to spend any more time like waiting so i went ahead and finished without y'all i'm sorry but you kind of got a gist of what i was doing this is the somewhat final look um so i have some areas where i'm kind of just like eh, i don't know about them 
like I feel like on this side trying to add the extensions to get down to the length that I wanted was a little bit more challenging because like if I'm only adding in one or two pieces of extension here but I'm having like four locks it'll be thicker and then it gets thinner at the end so it's like the consistency of it doesn't match all the way down so I can't say I'm a fan of that I don't like this right here in my face I should have just did a middle part because I don't like hair in my face but I'm pretty sure I could probably no I didn't keep the middle part if I would have kept the middle part I could have flip flopped and went from side to side but I didn't um overall I tried to get the angle as best as I could it was a little bit more challenging than I thought so some of them aren't correct I don't really like this one it's really annoying me I think I'm about to redo this knot it's too long so I think I'm gonna take this one out see how long this hair is all right that's a little better so yeah this right here is annoying and then this one is too thick so I think I'm gonna redo it and take out, make it into two instead of one. Cause that was just too much, it's too thick. It's only six locks. <sighs> I'm gonna just do one piece of hair. That's just a struggle with it. And then I'm only having this issue because I'm trying to extend mine to be longer. If you're not trying to do that, then you probably won't have this issue. I probably wouldn't have the issue if I did less locks to a section, but who about to be in here all night? This already has been two hours, maybe over two hours. I'm not about to be in here all night. I'm already tired, so whatever. This is the first trial run. And see, this is what I'm talking about, how this is going to be thick and then down here, it's going to be thin. Okay, so it's not horrible. It'll blend in. So yeah, I could have did these smaller, like less locks to the section, but like I said, I'm tired. Um, but I will give, I don't know why I have this big space right here, but whatever. I will give y'all a 360 of what we're looking like. I'm gonna add some, ooh, this is gonna get on my nerves. She gonna be behind my ear all the time. <laughs> I do not like hair in my face. I don't like it. For now, just put her there. I'm gonna go over for the flyaways with some foam. And then how I'm gonna sleep tonight, I believe I'm just going to do my bonnet. And we'll see how that works. If the bonnet doesn't work, then I'll use a scarf. But more than likely, the bonnet should be fine. And then I am going to use my curl shine. So you can just have some luster. Since I'm getting ready to go to bed, I'm not gonna worry with um, laying down my edges. Cause like I said, I'm just putting my bonnet on. So I'm gonna give y'all a look now and then hopefully in the morning, if I have time before work, I'll give y'all kind of a look of what it's gonna look like before me, well, after I lay my edges and all that kind of stuff. Um, overall, it was a simple style. It just takes a little while. If you've ever done any kind of style with your micro locks, you know that sometimes they can take a little minute to do. Um, so yeah, it was a little time consuming, but overall it was simple. Um, I do like it. I plan to wear it for a little while, um, probably at least, I know for a fact, a minimum of a week. I'm probably gonna wear it until I just get tired of it. Um, I just finished my retie this weekend, so that's why it looks so fresh. Literally, I think I finished the front or the middle last night. So I. As I mentioned in previous videos, I'm trying to style my hair after I do my retie so they last a little while longer um, and like don't get as frizzy. Um, what else? Majority of the whole front half of my head has extensions and the back does not. 
so again if you have hair that's my length and you kind of want your bob to just be this length in the back then you won't need the extensions but me i wanted to have be bobbiana so i added some length to mine and like i said i'm going to bring y'all in so we can do that 360 and then i will talk to y'all later if i have some more clips of my hair later i'll add those in if not this is it i hope y'all enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section if you want to try this look yourself it was very easy just a little long so let's bring it on in